What a lovely day for looking over your fence. What a lovely day it is today. So nice to see a lovely day like this. Oh, <laughs> hello there. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy i hope you are happy today i'm feeling all right not too bad as you can see the sun is out once more the sun has got his hat on hip hip hooray <laughs> so i'm very pleased to see the sun is here today very nice indeed i'm just getting myself comfortable in the garden i hope you are having a good day today here i am once more in my back garden and it is a sunny day however all of this beautiful weather is going to change soon because this weekend it's going to rain can you believe it so unfortunately all of this lovely fine weather will soon be coming to an end now i must open my live chat and see who is on i hope there is someone out there or else this will be a big waste of time <laughs> is there anyone there out there is there anyone watching out there in youtube land i really hope so hi hello oh yes there is someone there thank goodness for that i was getting a little bit worried then to be honest a little scared around the edges hello to the live chat it looks as if irene and also elisa are first on today's live stream let me just check that just to make sure let us have a look let have a look let's have a look yes we have a few people on the live chat gacha black gacha you were also first today a lot of people today have very fast fingers i think so you might actually hear some people behind me there are some people at the moment taking a walk at the back of my house don't they realize that they have to stay at least 20 feet away from me so i have to make sure that they don't come too close to me to keep that safe social distancing i have my lovely tape measure so i'm going to make sure that no one comes too close to me here we go there so there is my tape measure and as you can see i am very far away from anyone else so here i am 90 90 inches away from anyone else so the boundary of my fence is 90 inches away from me which means that i am definitely a safe distance away from any other people isn't that nice so sometimes your tape measure this particular thing can come in very useful and to be honest with you i'm carrying this everywhere at the moment so whenever i go outside i always have this in front of me just to make sure that people are keeping a safe distance away from me so let me just check just to make sure that you are also a safe distance away from me yes i think that's okay yes i don't think we are getting too close are we no that's all right then let's begin shall we oh hello also to shirin also francesca irene luis mendez is here as well maria is here hello also to 
Emin and Mirella. Nice to see you here as well. Hello also Leonardo. Lots of people are already joining on the live chat. Nice to see you all here today. So it is Wednesday and we have made it all the way to Wednesday. I'm very pleased that I can still be here with you talking to you live on YouTube. So everything here is OK. You can see that the sun is out. It is quiet. It is not windy. Everything is rather relaxed. And here I am standing underneath my lovely damson tree. I hope you are having a good time. Hello, Adwa. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Can you please say my children's names? Their names are Mohammed and Renard, and they are twins. Hello to Mohammed and Renard or Renard. Hello to you. You're both twins. So are you identical twins? Because sometimes you can have twins that look identical. Sometimes you can have twins that are not identical. So it can happen sometimes. So some twins are born identical. They look alike. They look the same for all of their lives. And there are also twins that are non-identical. They do not look alike hello to Anna Pika maybe the heron behind you is closer than 90 inches but it does not have I don't think so that heron has been in my garden for many years and I can safely say that that heron has not been anywhere definitely not so I think my heron is free from any nasty things. I think so. Hi, boy. Hello, hi, boy. Nice to see you here today. If I seem a little distracted, it's because half an hour ago I had the most delicious meal. Mr. Steve has been very busy these days in the kitchen. Last night he made the most amazing shepherd's pie. So we had shepherd's pie last night and it was absolutely gorgeous. It was delicious. I have a feeling that Mr. Steve is really getting good at cooking during this lockdown period. I think so. So we had cottage pie last night and today Steve had some chicken that was left over from Sunday and what Steve did he actually boiled all of the bones and all of the parts of the chicken and then he made some delicious soup and that is what we had about half an hour ago so I was sitting with Steve slurping and eating some of his delicious soup homemade chicken soup and a lot of people believe that chicken soup is very good for you if you have a fever or cold, which I don't have, by the way. <laughs> I don't have anything at the moment besides a little bit of hay fever, unfortunately. At the moment, I am suffering slightly from my seasonal hay fever, sadly. But I don't feel too bad. Thank you for asking. But oh my goodness. I don't know if you have the same problem as me, but whenever I eat something, if I eat something very delicious afterwards, I feel very sleepy. I feel as if I want to actually have a sleep after eating a delicious meal. And that's how I feel at the moment. So I'm feeling rather sleepy, rather drowsy after that lovely meal so thank you mr steve for making a, a very wonderful meal not only today but also last night as well he made a delicious shepherd's pie mm, very nice hi mr duncan hello also to paula hello paula hello our will my dear teacher please keep going you are my lovely teacher of english thank you Thank you, I will. I will try my best to keep going for as long 
as I possibly can while there is breath in my body and a twitch in my face I will continue to do this just for you it looks as if we have three more weeks of this situation here in the UK so three more weeks of this so you might be seeing a lot of me you might be seeing quite a lot of me over the next few weeks hello Dorota I have a piece of chicken stuck in my teeth excuse me it's very annoying isn't it when you get a piece of food stuck in your teeth I have a I have a little piece of chicken and it's stuck in my teeth it's n there's nothing more annoying than that hello to Belarusia nice to see you here as well I hope your internet connection is a little better today because I know that you've had a problem with your internet connection when you are not at home hello also to Lil we need a map of your garden so we know which corner you are in <laughs> well at the moment I'm standing underneath my damson tree I will show you the damson tree above my head I will try to move the camera up there it is so the damson tree is above my head and behind me well behind me you can see the garden looking out at the back of the house and there I am unfortunately sadly you can see me as well for which I apologize <laughs> so there I am now on your screens hopefully hello Hasna hello also Mohen or Mosen nice to see you as well you are in a new angle in the corner of your garden today yes I thought I would change the view sometimes I worry that maybe you are getting bored seeing me every day so I thought today I would have a different angle a slightly different angle with my camera hello faith idiom channel nice to see you as well also we have Vitas hello Vitas the birds the birds are very noisy today can you hear them Osakina Osakina 66 says I have twins too but they aren't identical they are not identical I call them fraternal twins <laughs> I suppose that's because they belong to the same group fraternal I like that <laughs> that's very clever hello to Adwa no my twins are not identical that is interesting though isn't it sometimes you can get identical twins and sometimes the twins are actually not identical excuse me <laughs> if you are wondering what I'm doing I am adjusting my camera hello also to jewelry hello to jewelry nice to see you here as well I don't know where the Sun has gone it's disappeared come back Sun why did you go away for please come back if you put rice in the chicken soup what would the taste be I like the sound of that I do like the sound of rice in chicken soup I think that would be quite nice to be honest I think so Adrian Florman it is good to have a small nap after a wonderful meal just 10 minutes I agree with you unfortunately I didn't have time to take a nap sadly so I had to come straight out here and do this even though at the moment I feel as if I want to go to sleep I feel as if I want to take a little nap a little sleep maybe I will do that now perhaps I can lie down on the grass and maybe you can watch me whilst I have a little rest on the ground is that a good idea I know it's not very interesting or exciting but you never know we might enjoy it 
hello to Anna Pika is mr. Steve good at cooking the leftovers to do it a little bit you can do it with a little bit of creativity don't you think one of the things I don't like about food is wasting food I love eating food but one of the things that always annoys me is when people waste food and that's one of the things that has been happening recently during this strange period of time many people have been panic buying they've been buying things whilst panicking and unfortunately they've bought so much food that a lot of it has act actually gone bad so they've had to throw it away which I think is really sad so one of the things that I hate hearing about or seeing is wasting food I always feel a little annoyed when people waste food so yes we often cook the leftovers so if we have some meat or some vegetables we will save them we will put them in the fridge or the refrigerator and then the next day we will fry them we will fry all of the vegetables and if there is some meat left over we will make some soup so that's what mr. Steve did yesterday he actually prepared some soup and today we ate it and it was delicious mr. Duncan do you drink soup or do you eat soup mm interesting do you drink soup or do you eat soup I want to say eat so I think you eat soup because soup normally has lots of bits lots of pieces of food or vegetables inside so I like to think that soup is food so you eat soup I'm sure some people will say no Mr. Duncan you are wrong you actually drink soup you drink it like you would drink water <sighs> hello to Aranksa hello Aranksa or Arankta hello to hello from Donostia hello to you and we say Kiaozo Kiaozo in the Basque language does that mean hello maybe can the heron move around behind you no this is actually fixed on the ground so this is actually fixed onto the ground so it can't blow away the wind cannot carry it, carry it away it is there permanently it has to stay there all the time Mr. Duncan the tree is beautiful thank you jewelry where are you watching at the moment by the way because I'm always interested to find out where people are watching I am always very keen to find out where people are viewing me Mr. Duncan you always eat chicken I don't always eat chicken sometimes but not always I know I know what you're going to say Mr. Duncan you shouldn't eat meat unfortunately sometimes I can't resist so that's what we had last night we had cottage pie sorry shepherd's pie so shepherd's pie is made with lamb and cottage pie is made with beef hello also to Glenda hello Glenda I love your voice and pronunciation thank you very much for those who don't know me my name is Duncan I teach English I've been doing this on YouTube for ever such a long time hello to Adwa no there are not identical for your information because usually twins which are boys and girls are non-identical well I suppose that makes sense doesn't it so I suppose if you have a male and female twin they won't look the same 
but maybe they share some characteristics some people believe that twins can actually communicate with each other without saying anything it's as if they are the same person but i know what you mean now so if the twins are the same gender so maybe two boys or two girls quite often they will be identical i'm glad we've cleared that one up i really am pleased about that hello shaker adam shaker nice to see you here once again i hope you are moving and shaking today mr duncan you have a fresh face and also personality you are not boring thank you hamadreza i don't know sometimes i worry you see maybe i worry too much about what people think sometimes i do but then i think we all do we all sometimes worry about what other people may think about us yes fc hello fc there is a fake bird so the bird you can see over there is called a heron but that one isn't real it's plastic it's made of plastic but every morning when i open my curtains i always like to see the heron and i like to give it a little wave i say good morning mr heron how are you today hello nestor hello vo yen as well nice to see you here as well wow so many people are watching now hello emily hello also shard ali hello to you as well i wonder where you are watching at the moment one of the things i've just realized is my my legs are getting very hot in the sunshine i'm wearing my dark jeans and one of the problems with wearing dark clothes is that if you stand in the sunshine you get very hot so that is what is happening to me at the moment my legs are burning because i'm wearing some long black jeans and sadly the dark color is absorbing the light from the sun which is making my legs extremely hot hello mr duncan from jewelry nice to see you here again hello what is the name of the bush behind you that is in the fence that bush i'm not sure what it's called i should call mr steve early see mr steve will know what that is but i don't know what it is but during the the summer this particular bush here this bush is normally covered with beautiful pink flowers there are normally lots of beautiful pink flowers and the other thing about this bush is during the summer quite often the cattle will eat that bush fortunately at the moment there are no cows there is no cattle in the field behind me today there are no sheep in fact there is nothing there is nothing there at all so normally that bush there normally the the cows will eat that bush they seem to enjoy eating that bush for some reason i don't know why <sighs> yes you can take a small nap with a bunch of keys in your hand and when the keys fall down to the ground they will make a noise and wake you up and then you will feel fit again i really do wish i could have a sleep i'm not joking i know some people say that if you eat turkey so the meat from the turkey apparently it can make you very tired and sleepy apparently it contains something that makes you sleepy so now i'm just wondering if chicken has the same thing maybe maybe if you eat chicken you will also start to fall asleep hmm musa is here hello mr duncan and hello everyone nice to see you here today mr duncan you put a lot of work on mr steve's shoulder is that fair <laughs> mr steve this week has been so excited about everything that's happening i think he's quite enjoying being in the kitchen 
So I'm not telling him to do these things. He is doing them willingly. He is doing them without any pressure from me whatsoever. So that's what's happening. So Steve is really enjoying himself this week in the kitchen. <laughs> Anna Pika says, I ate another piece of chocolate and I feel a little bit guilty about it. I think a lot of people are doing this at the moment, especially if you are at home. I know I am. Sometimes you have nothing to do and you think, hmm, maybe I should go into the kitchen and have something to eat. It is very easy to do, I know. The bird behind me is a heron. So that particular bird is a heron. It isn't real. Hello, Omnia. Good afternoon, Mr. Duncan. I see you have lovely weather. It is very lovely today. Not too bad at all. The weather is nice. However, we only have two more days of this weather and then everything is going to change, unfortunately. So this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it is going to be rather unsettled. And apparently we're going to get a lot of rain this weekend as well. Faith Idiom says a stork is a tall, long legged wading bird. And quite often they have pink legs, don't they? Storks. I've seen storks with pink legs and their legs are very thin, aren't they? Have you noticed that? Storks, they have very thin legs. It always makes me feel quite amazed when I see them stand up because it looks as if their legs cannot support the weight of their body. Hello, Irene. Hello, also Faith again, who says that winter is ending where you are. Yes, it is. We are now into spring. So springtime has arrived and you can see above my head. You might notice there are lots of beautiful leaves coming out on the trees so there you can see my damson tree is now starting to come out with lots of leaves you can see the leaves are starting to come out on the trees very nice i like it Quran karim says i want to get married to a british woman and improve my English well I suppose that's one way of doing it it seems a little bit extreme it seems like a very big thing to do just to learn English but I suppose if it works if it works why not <laughs> hello my number one says surely Germany successo total I like your name, by the way, Shirley. Hello, my number one. What is the best place that you would recommend us to have good English tea? There are many great places here in the UK to have tea. If you go to any small town or any small village here in England, you will find there are many English tea shops. And quite often you can get many varieties of tea so my favorite tea well in fact i have two i have two favorite types of tea i like assam and also earl grey but i think my favorite is earl grey i do like earl grey tea very nice so you can get tea from anywhere really in england we have a lot of beautiful english tea even though technically I know a lot of tea does not come from England before anyone says Mr. Duncan can you ask people from Morocco who is in that who is in this live chat if it is true that their country has lots of storks so if there is anyone watching in Morocco at the moment is it true that in Morocco there are lots of storks is it true or not 
Anyone watching in Morocco, please let me know. Cooking begins in the store when we choose the products. If we choose fresh food and quality products, we will cook good meals. If we have planned what to buy and how much to buy, it will not waste the food. I know I agree with you sometimes. And this is only my personal opinion. Sometimes I prefer food that is cooked at home. So when I say that, I mean fresh food, fresh vegetables. So everything is fresh and everything is cooked in your kitchen. So sometimes processed food, food that you have to get out of a can or maybe something that is processed is not as good. It certainly doesn't taste as good. So there is nothing better than a lovely home cooked meal. I agree with you. And if you do it properly, then you will not waste any food at all. Hey, Mr. Duncan, please let us get into your garden from behind the fence. Thank you. If Mohammed. <laughs> That's a very good idea. There are quite a few people walking today behind the house. There are many people walking around going behind me. So you might see some people whilst I'm standing here. But of course, everyone has to keep their distance. We do have safe social distancing at the moment. That sounds like a helicopter. I think it might be the police. I think they found me. <gasps> hello also to New Win. New Win Hong Tan says hello. I am late today. Don't worry about it. As I always say, it is better to be late than never. That's what I say. Hello also to Toy Tran also watching in vietnam i think a big hello to everyone watching in vietnam nice to see you here as well mr duncan what is the temperature in your garden asks lewis lewis mendez is here the temperature today is really nice we are having a lovely day here in england very lucky i know I can come into my garden because there there are no people living nearby so I can come into my garden. I don't have anyone living behind my house so I can come outside. The temperature today is around 20, maybe 21 Celsius. So it's quite warm. The sun is out and yes, it's quite nice today. I'm I'm having a rather nice time, to be honest. Despite all of the strange things that are going on in the world. Hamid Dreza, Mr. Duncan, what is your opinion of Alfred Hitchcock? I love his movies. He has made some of the best horror movies and also the best suspense movies. So when we talk about suspense, it is something that makes you feel a little worried or anxious. So maybe a movie that is not just scary, but also maybe it brings the feeling of anxiety or maybe you feel worried about a certain character in the movie. Suspense. So Alfred Hitchcock has made some of well, some of the best movies ever made. The Birds. Have you ever seen The Birds? A brilliant movie made by Alfred Hitchcock. A very scary movie. I always remember there was one scene where a woman was running away and all of the birds were attacking her and they were poking her in the eye. They were trying to peck her eyes out. Ugh, it was a little bit scary to say the least. Anna Pika likes my shirt. Yes, I thought I would wear my shirt again today. It is nice and blue. 
the color is blue it is very relaxing I like it I like it a lot oh mr. Duncan I love Earl Grey tea as well I bought some tins from England last year and it has a very good flavor I always like drinking Earl Grey in the morning so my first cup of tea maybe they are searching for me trying to find me <laughs> they will never find me because I'm hiding underneath my damson tree that's what I'm doing mr. mr. D or mr. Duncan is your hat the same as mr. Steve's no this hat is not the same as Steve's this hat is one that I brought back with me from Turkey so many years ago when I was on holiday in Turkey I actually bought this hat and then I brought it back to England with me who <laughs> I don't know what happened then did my did my live stream just go off then something very strange just happened to my live stream did it go off did I go off then did you did you lose me then something very strange just happened <laughs> and I'm not sure how or why oh how weird <laughs> that's strange everything just disappeared then on my phone I was slightly worried then I hope I'm still with you can you still see me and hear me I hope so Earl Grey is also my favorite tea I love a cup of Earl Grey in the morning apparently it is mostly sunny in much Wenlock and not rainy and cloudy it isn't it isn't here today it isn't it is lovely sunny the sky is almost blue almost there are some stray clouds going overhead but yes we are having some nice weather at the moment hello to Al Dubai mr. Duncan you are so funny and you are making me love English thank you very much well I suppose I suppose it is my job you see even though it looks like I'm having a lot of fun here and I hope you are having a lot of fun where you are I am actually teaching English so you can sit and listen and hopefully you will understand more and more of the English language listening is a great thing to do if you are learning one particular language and English is no exception hello also oh apparently yes there was a problem oh I see for some reason I don't know why there was a slight problem with the connection I don't know what happened I don't know what and I don't know how but it happened hello also to Adrian again yes I know sometimes the internet connection around here can be a little unstable so maybe that's the reason why I think so Lewis says Alfred Hitchcock is the master of suspense I like that word suspense something that is making you feel a little uneasy or maybe something that makes you feel a little anxious perhaps you are watching a movie or reading a book and maybe one of the characters in the story is finding that there is danger around them maybe they are in danger in the story so you feel suspense you feel slightly worried or nervous because you think something bad is about to happen to that character I think so nobody hello to nobody nobody <laughs> I like your name mr. Duncan have you ever been to India I've never been to India no I haven't there are many places in the world that I've traveled to in my life there was a time in my life when I felt very adventurous 
I think this is true when you are younger. You tend to be more adventurous with the things you do in your life. So when I was younger, in my younger years, I used to travel quite a lot. However, as I've got older, I travel less and less. Hello, Marinal. Hello, Marinal Singh, also watching in India. Nice to see you here as well. A lot of people are in India watching right now. Hello to you too. Hello also to Jiang. Jiang Nguyen. Have you ever been to Vietnam? No, I've never been to Vietnam ever. I've never been there ever in my life. However, one day, maybe, who knows? One day, it might happen. Hello to Alex. Nice to see you here as well. Mr. Duncan, do you grow any vegetables in your garden? Maybe potatoes or onions, carrots, parsley? The answer to that question is no. We don't grow any vegetables here. Mr. Steve has thought about it, but unfortunately it would take a lot of effort and a lot of time and also we don't really have any area in the garden for growing vegetables. So we don't really have anywhere around here where we could grow vegetables, to be honest. Hello also to Faith. Mr. Duncan, do you believe there will be some extension for the Brexit transition? I have no idea. Most people... It would appear here in the UK, most people seem to have forgotten all about Brexit. They've forgotten all about it. So instead of talking about Brexit, people are now talking about. That's what people are talking about now. So it would appear that many people have actually forgotten all about Brexit because we have new things to worry about. <laughs> Please look at the film The Joker. It makes you feel very nervous a lot. Thank you, Cap Devi. I haven't seen that movie yet. I have seen some of the reviews. Most people seem to think it's a very good film. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Can you hear that? Pigeons fighting in the trees. No, I haven't seen Joker, but I believe it is a very good movie. Jaquin Phoenix. And also, who else is in that movie? Robert De Niro as well. Hello also to Yassir. Hello, Victory. Hello, Victory is pretty much, very much. When we say pretty much, it means almost completely pretty much. It is pretty much the end of summer. Or maybe it is the it is pretty much the end of winter. So you could say almost completely pretty much pretty much. It is pretty much the end of winter pretty much almost completely pretty much. Have you ever been to Yemen? No, I've never been to Yemen at all. Many places around the world that I've been, but there are many places that I haven't been to that I would like to visit one day. Mr. Duncan, I love your smiley T-shirt. I really like your T-shirt. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. I know Mr. Duncan for 14 years. He is so interesting. I love him and all his work. Yes, you are right, Irene. I've been doing this for nearly 14 years. I can't believe it. It doesn't seem possible. I've been on here, on YouTube, doing this for 14 years. Who would have thought 
all those years ago when I was sitting in my apartment in China who would have thought all those years later I would be standing here in much Wenlock talking to you live on YouTube it's amazing really hello to Mr Duncan you are an international teacher and I think that it is nece necessary for you to travel more and more I think so I suppose I should start traveling more last year I was very lucky last year because I was able to go to two places I went to Paris in France and I also went to Portugal last year but that was because Mr Steve had actually won two holidays he actually won them from his company because he had been working so hard they gave him a prize in fact they gave him two prizes so I was able to go with Mr Steve last year to not only Paris but also I went to Portugal as well very nice I believe at the moment it is raining in Portugal as I understand it the weather has been really terrible over the past two or three days Giselda Mr Duncan do you like reading what is the best book you have ever read I've read a lot of books over the years there is a book that I've just started reading ah would you like to see it so here is a book that I have recently started reading I haven't finished it yet so I'm still reading this book but I'm going to show it to you now it might be a book that you've read before yourself maybe you know the book I will show you so this particular book is social commentary and I like I'm very interested in people who like to look at society and people who like to analyze the behavior of human beings I find it very interesting so here is a book that caught my eye here is a book that I noticed and I've just started reading it it is a book by an author called Oliver James you might have heard of his name before and there is the book the book is called affluenza and it is by Oliver James and the book is all about modern life so I have only just started reading this book but it is very good it is a very eye-opening book it is a book that discusses the way in which we live the way we've all become very selfish materialistic the way we treat each other the way in which society has changed over the years because of materialism and also that need the need to succeed and sometimes people will do anything to succeed in what they do anything even if it means being a little unfair or maybe doing things that are cruel so this is a pretty good book so far I've read I've read about 20 pages so I'm where am I I'm on page 40 47 I'm on page 47 at the moment so I've been reading this book Oliver James affluenza it is a study of society it is a study of human behavior it is also a study of the materialistic age that we now find ourselves living in so yes it's a pretty good book a very good book if you like that sort of thing if you like reading about social issues or human behavior then I would highly recommend this book because so far I have thoroughly enjoyed it so there it is a book that I'm reading right now during my my lockdown period some people might say Mr Duncan that's a bit of a depressing book that's a very depressing book that you're reading at the moment but I must admit I do like this 
kind of book i like a book that makes you look at the world in a different way or maybe a, a book or a story that makes you open your mind or your eyes a little bit more so there it is one of the books that i'm reading at the moment <laughs> it's quite good interesting if not a little depressing at the same time T.S. Sir, I've never asked you before. What did you think about the novel Rainbow Troop? Oh, yes. T.S. That was that I've already, Yes, I read that some time ago. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Robin just came down there and landed right by my feet. Hello. <laughs> there is a Robin. He keeps coming down and he lands right by my feet. Yes, thank you very much. For the book that you sent me, T.S., I did have a little surprise from T.S. And it was a book sent from T.S. And I was so surprised for two reasons. <laughs> First of all, I was surprised that you knew where I lived. That was one of the things I was very surprised by. <laughs> and the other one was the fact that you sent me a beautiful gift. So I was really quite overwhelmed by it. Oh, and also, can I say thank you once again for the other thing that you sent me as well? You sent me the Christmas decoration as well for my tree. Wow. So, yes, that was very generous of you. Thank you, T.S. Very generous. What is the meaning of depressing? If something is depressing, it makes you feel unhappy. It lowers your spirits. It makes you feel a little glum, gloomy, blue, unhappy. Something is depressing. Maybe in the morning you open your curtains and it is cloudy, grey, dark and it's raining. You might say that that weather is depressing, depressing. Something depressing is a thing that makes you feel depressed, unhappy. <sighs> That's not me, though. I'm not depressed today. I am feeling very happy because I'm here with you on the live stream. It is now three o'clock already. I've been here for nearly one hour. I am going to take a very short break. I will take a little break because I'm going to get some water. I'm also going to put some shorts on because these trousers are too hot. My legs are burning. They are on fire, honestly. Affluenza has quite an expletive translation into russian says sergio okay well maybe there is a translation of that book and maybe the translation is a little obscene maybe i'm not, i'm not sure i don't know hello mr duncan how are you and your garden it looks like you are in a zoo it, it's it probably sounds like i'm in a zoo at the moment i also like books about life I like reading biographies, stories of other people's lives. I really do. I like reading stories. I like reading books about people's lives and experiences. And quite often you can actually learn a lot from reading about other people's experiences in their lives. I like it. Mr. Duncan, I have a problem speaking and understanding the movies. What do you advise? Asks Shaker. What I advise is try watching with captions. So many movies, many DVDs, many movies on the streaming services such as Netflix, they will have captions. So if you have difficulty understanding, sometimes it is very helpful to have captions or subtitles as well don't forget you can also have captions now on here 
It's true. <laughs> Dear. Here we go. If you want to have captions now, just press C on your keyboard. All you have to do is press C, not on the live chat. You don't have to put it on the live chat. Just press C on your keyboard. And then as if by magic, you will get some captions because YouTube is amazing. It really is. So that is how you can get live captions on this stream by pressing C on your keyboard. So I hope that helps you. Mr. Duncan, please come to Iraq and go to Baghdad International College. I swear they will be happy to meet you. Isn't that nice? I, I like the idea of that. I do get a lot of invitations, but unfortunately, I am only one person. Unfortunately, there is only one Mr. Duncan, unless of unless, of course, one day they they manage to clone me. Maybe one day they can clone me and maybe there will be lots of Mr. Duncans and they can all go to different parts of the world. <laughs> maybe that's not such a good idea. Maybe not. I'm having a little break. I'm going to drink some water and I'm going to change my trousers because I am so hot. So I will be back in a moment. Don't go away. Enjoy some of the beautiful scenery that I'm about to show you. OK. OK. I'll be back in two minutes.
Ah, oh, that is much better. I'm now wearing some shorts. Oh, oh, my poor legs. They were getting so hot. So now I am feeling much more comfortable. Thank you very much for asking. Yes, I'm back. Did you enjoy the beautiful stream? Did you enjoy the sound of the water flowing? And that is a place that is very close to where I live. So there is a little walk that you can take very close to where I live. And there is a lovely stream and that was what you were looking at a few moments ago. Hello to Anna. Hello to Naruto. Hello, Naruto. I haven't seen you here for a long time. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Mr. Duncan, that was beautiful. During this period, the nature is healing. I think so. The sound of nature, if it is the birds singing in the trees, or the sound of a river or a stream flowing. It can be very calming. I agree with you. One of the things that is also very calming is the sound of the waves. Have you ever done that? Have you ever fallen asleep to a certain sound? I know a lot of people nowadays like doing that, especially during these strange times. A lot of people like to listen to something at night as they try to go to sleep. So maybe it is the sound of birds singing, or maybe it is the sound of water flowing, or maybe it is the sound of the sea, the waves. The waves crashing onto the beach. Teaching is your main job, Mr. Duncan, isn't it? It is what I do. I've been doing this for quite a few years now. A lot of my work is done here on YouTube. I make video lessons. I also do live streams as well, like this. But the reason why I'm doing them every day is because, well, I am in isolation, quite likely, and quite possibly you are in isolation as well. So that's why I'm doing it. That feels so much better. Oh, all I can feel now is the cool breeze blowing around my legs and up my shorts. Ooh, <laughs> very pleasant. <laughs> Guadeloupe is here. Hello also to Hamido. Oh, yes, Mr. Duncan, we can see that you are back. I am back. I don't know what happened earlier. There was a slight problem with the connection. And also, my legs were starting to get very hot. So I showed you the book earlier that I'm reading right now. It is a very interesting book. Something to make you think about society human nature and the way we all act or behave towards each other hello also Anna Rita I have read one or two books of hers they were funny and well written I'm not sure which books you are on about is it correct to say that a book is well written yes it is you can say that something is well written so maybe a book that is interesting maybe a book with a very good story maybe if there is a book that holds your attention for a very long time we can say that it is well written it is a well written book you would be right to say that mr duncan why are you not married <laughs> you could probably ask the same reason why somebody is married why are you married you see so you might ask the the opposite affluenza 
is actually a play on words so it is describing something that is almost like a disease or something that spreads through society so that particular book is actually all about the behavior of people and the way in which our selfishness and greed has spread almost like some sort of disease something like maybe hello mr duncan the birds i can hear them a lot there are lots of them right there aren't there asks nesta there are many birds around here many birds indeed i thought it would be interesting to have a look at some words connected with connected with smell do you like that word smell so this particular word can be used in more than one way we can use it to describe the way something reacts with your nose so maybe when you breathe in you can smell something so this particular word can be used as both a verb and also a noun as well we can talk about your sense of smell so the sense of smell as things go up your nose there are nerves in your nose that can smell things your olfactory lobes they are called and they are the things that help you smell things so when you breathe in you smell you can smell the smells so a smell is a noun but you can also <laughs> smell something as a verb as well so there's more than one way of using that particular word here's another word odor odor so when we talk about odor we are actually using a slightly more negative word so quite often we will use this word in a negative way so very often the word odor can be negative quite often something that has a bad smell we can describe it as an odor there is an odor coming from mr steve's feet <laughs> there is an odor coming from inside that bush maybe there is a dead animal in there odor quite often we will describe an odor as a bad smell something that smells unpleasant something that does not smell very nice there is an odor some sort of smell in the air odor if Mohammed is saying bye Mr Duncan see you later take care and hopefully see you tomorrow nice to see you as well yes there might be a bad odor something that is bad something that smells bad maybe if you break an egg and maybe the egg is rotten you might also smell an odor there might be a particular odor and quite often we use the word odor in a negative way quite often we will use this word negatively negatively odor talking of smell talking of words connected with smell of course you can also have a nice smell something that makes you feel happy something that makes you feel quite pleasant you might have an aroma aroma so we often think of aroma as something that is coming naturally maybe from a flower or from blossom so quite often we will describe aroma as a nice smell something pleasant something natural there is a fresh aroma of daffodils or maybe 
Many trees at the moment around here are producing their blossom and they also have a beautiful aroma. Aroma is a beautiful smell, a natural smell, something that smells good. Perhaps in the kitchen someone is baking a cake or maybe they are making some fresh coffee. We can also say that the air has a beautiful aroma. It has a smell. It is a very pleasant smell that is in the air. There is the most delicious smell, the most glorious aroma. I think it might be Mr. Steve. I think he is cooking another delicious meal in the kitchen right now. So something that smells nice. Anna Pika says we you teach us a lot of things. You teach us many things. We love you. That's OK. That is why I am here. It is my job and I hope what I do is useful to you. Hello to Bouquet. Hello Bouquet. Oh yes. Again quite often we will describe a pleasant smell or something that has a very interesting smell or a delicious aroma we describe it as having a nice bouquet so this particular word can be used in many ways it can describe some flowers that you are holding in your hand so a group of flowers that you are holding in your hand that has been collected can be described as a bouquet so a bunch of flowers bunch of flowers is a bouquet a bouquet very nice word French also we could describe something that has a nice aroma as having a, a delicious or delightful bouquet if you are one of those people who likes to collect wine maybe you are a wine connoisseur maybe a person who enjoys sampling and trying all of that delicious wine from around the world you might describe a certain wine as having a nice or delicate bouquet bouquet so quite often the smell or the aroma from wine can also be described as a bouquet hmm a very pleasing bouquet a very nice wine <laughs> by the way i know nothing about wine i am not a wine connoisseur i don't have a wine cellar <laughs> maybe you do do you like drinking wine and if so what is your favorite wine is there a particular wine that you like drinking maybe there is a particular bouquet that you enjoy when you are drinking wine hello to everyone have you ever received a bouquet of flowers from someone i have especially when i was in china when i was in china i used to get flowers quite often you might not realize this but sending flowers is actually quite popular in china so quite often i would receive flowers there was one time when i <laughs> this is very embarrassing what i'm about to tell you is very embarrassing i once took part in a fashion show can you believe that I had a phone call from my boss the school where I worked and he said Mr Duncan we need you to go to the Bauto Hotel where there is a fashion show taking place and apparently they need a foreigner <laughs> and they asked if they could use you so I had to go along to this fashion show and I wore this suit this very nice suit and I had dark sunglasses on and I was actually walking 
on the stage with all of these models and it was so bizarre it was very strange so I was there with all of these beautiful models very attractive ladies and very handsome men and then there was me so that is the only time ever in my life that I've taken part in a fashion show but I did I actually did it whilst in China anyway at the end they gave all of us a big bouquet of flowers so each one of us had a bouquet of flowers including me so I went home with this huge bouquet of flowers and I do remember that they did have a very nice scent ah there is another word scent so maybe a smell or maybe an aroma that is sweet and very pleasant we can describe it as scent a beautiful scent maybe you are a lady who likes to put some perfume behind her ears to make herself smell very very sexy scent a nice smell or a strong smell of course quite often we will use the word scent when we are trying to find a person so there are dogs who are specially trained to pick up the scent of a person hello to Sergio yes I think you were in the fashion show because they wanted contrast yes maybe so there were lots of Chinese people and then suddenly there was my appearance my Lawai appearance partridges says love you mr. Duncan thank you very much <laughs> hello Anapika maybe your loyal students in China gave you a bunch of flowers to thank you for your wonderful lessons I did receive flowers quite often especially on my birthday as well I had flowers delivered to me as well also when I was in Malaysia many years ago I received a bunch of flowers in my hotel room from someone isn't that amazing so there is nothing more pleasing uplifting something that makes you feel quite nice and valued there is nothing nicer than receiving flowers delivered to your door personally scent so a beautiful scent a beautiful smell <clears throat> so women ladies will wear perfume men quite often will wear aftershave so I do <clears throat> normally normally after I finish shaving my face I will always put some aftershave on my face so my skin will feel very smooth and soft so quite often I will put aftershave on my face do you know what type of aftershave I use can you name it can you guess which aftershave I use which brand of aftershave do I put on my face does anyone know it does anyone know what it is <laughs> mr. Duncan have your slippers ha got a bouquet no my slippers do not have a bouquet they have an odor mr. Steve a couple of weeks ago Steve got very angry because my slippers he said my slippers had a horrible odor he was moaning and complaining about my slippers but I thought they were all right I thought my slippers were okay to be honest with you hello mr. Duncan you only have a hundred and sixty four thousand subscribers before you get to one million <laughs> 
can I just say I will be a very old man a very very old man by the time I get to 1 million subscribers I think it's a long way off many years <laughs> hello to Hamiz Hamid Reza Mr Duncan how many girls fell in love with you and how many fainted when they saw you I certainly had a lot of offers when I was in China I remember once I was in the bank I was queuing in the bank and this girl came up to me and she says oh hello hello what's your name I said Duncan so oh, no. oh where are you from I said England oh she said England oh English men English men English man oh, yes. she got very excited and then she said can I have your phone number what 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 this actually happened amazing never happens here never in the UK has anyone ever asked me for my phone number in China China uh, everyone everyone wanted to know my phone number <laughs> oh dear hello Grace Chin Grace Chin is here Sergio hello Sergio it would appear that Sergio knows me very well what is my aftershave what is the aftershave that I use on my face Sergio is right it is Old Spice Mr Duncan we can't believe that you wear Old Spice on your face isn't that for granddads and elderly people well <laughs> yes it is <laughs> which is why I wear it but my father when I was young one of the one of the things I always remember is the smell of Old Spice upstairs when my father was getting ready to go out he would always put some Old Spice on his face so that's one of the reasons why I like wearing Old Spice because it reminds me of when I was at home living with my family some lovely memories come flooding into my mind certain smells can bring back memories some of the memories might be happy and some might be unhappy fragrance oh yes this is another nice word a word connected to a beautiful natural smell the fragrance maybe you can smell the roses growing in the garden maybe during the summer months there might be lots of flowers growing and all of the flowers are coming out and then suddenly there is a lot of fragrance in the air fragrance things that smell sweet natural smells delicious smells things that have a particular fragrance oh, yes Mr Duncan we like the smell of Old Spice please can we smell your face please get closer Mr Duncan we want to smell your face we want to smell your Old Spice mm. <laughs> there's nothing weird about that trust me fragrance a pleasant sweet smell quite often existing in nature nice hello to the live chat oh a lot of people know what I wear a lot of people seem to understand what I do after I have a shave mr. Duncan you put old spice you put old spice on your face <laughs> Giovanni says scent of a woman it is a very good book and also a movie oh yes I remember that scent of a woman woman scent of a woman you are right very good movie hello Alisa hello also to 
your subscribers are growing slowly yes I have noticed <laughs> I have noticed that aftershave has a beautiful odor or maybe a beautiful fragrance normally when we talk about perfume or aftershave we normally talk about the fragrance so because it is a sweet light delicious soothing some might say exciting sometimes the aftershave or the perfume might make you feel excited Ooh. so yes uh, fragrance we often describe perfume or aftershave as fragrance fragrance something that has a beautiful smell sweet and natural hello to peter hello peter soon you will arrive at 1 million subscribers i don't know if i will i think it will be a very long time <laughs> it has taken me a very long time to get to this number of subscribers maybe they want to talk to you on whatsapp mr duncan asks mike or mick hello mick a lot of people in the past have created whatsapp groups but the problem is they don't last very long so there are some people who have started whatsapp groups but the problem is people generally will become very bored or maybe they become disinterested so they stop joining in with the whatsapp groups please stay away from such a person <laughs> yes don't worry i did when i was in china a lot of people would come up to me and say oh hello are you looking for a girlfriend i would always say no no thank you not today <laughs> noemi says my father used old spice and it always reminds me of my childhood isn't that strange because i have exactly the same feeling whenever i smell old spice aftershave i always think of being at home and i can always hear my father getting ready in the bathroom getting ready to go out maybe he was going to work so he would be upstairs and the last thing i could smell before he left was his old spice aftershave franco is here hello mr duncan i like the bouquet of passerina wine which is produced in italy in the marsh region passerina wine oh okay then so that is a type of italian wine i'm not a big fan of wine i do like drinking good wine so when i was in paris last year we were very lucky because we managed to drink some very i want to say expensive i'm not sure if it was expensive but it was very nice burgundy a lovely glass of burgundy and it was the most amazing wine i've ever tasted in my life so there are certain types of wine i would imagine if you have very expensive wine you might find that the taste and the smell or the aroma is very nice but i remember last year we were taking we were on a river trip going past the eiffel tower at night and we were on a boat going along the seine and yes we had this delicious burgundy it was absolutely delicious and normally i don't like drinking wine i don't normally like drinking wine however i did have some last year and i i rather liked it to be honest i did like it even though i have a feeling that if i wanted to buy a bottle of that particular wine i think it would be very expensive and i don't think i would be able to afford it do you drink Vietnamese wine I've never seen Vietnamese wine I've definitely never tried Vietnamese wine and I've definitely never seen 
Vietnamese wine. I think that is safe to say. I have heard of Sudan. Yes, I have heard of Sudan. Mr. Duncan, I am in a bad mood today because I had the bad news in the morning that my brother-in-law he went fishing yesterday and he didn't come back home and they are still looking for him evangelina i'm sorry to hear that i hope everything turns out all right and my thoughts are with you at the moment so yes i hope everything turns out all right i hope there is an, a happy ending to that story i really do but you are welcome here today and I hope I will cheer you up and everyone here as well will be supporting you on the live chat today. So I'm very sorry to hear that. Hello also Fida. Hello dear. Dear Mizuki. Hello Mizuki. I don't know what Mizuki means. Mr. Duncan, afford it. What does it mean? If you can afford something, it means you have something that you can give, something that you can offer. You can afford something. So maybe you go to the shops and maybe you see a beautiful coat or maybe a nice new pair of shoes. Unfortunately, they are very expensive. So we can say that you cannot afford to buy them you cannot afford however if you are very lucky and you see a very expensive pair of shoes and maybe you can afford to buy them that means you have enough money so if you have enough money you can afford if you don't have enough money if you have too little money then we can say that you can't afford the shoes. Hello to Hamidou. Thank you very much for your lovely words of encouragement. Very sad news. A lot of sad news around at the moment. I hope everything turns out positive and happy for you, Evangelina. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yes, here. Which is the camera using? Do you mean what type of camera are you using? So this particular camera that I'm using now is a professional camera. So this is a Sony camera that I'm using here. So this is a big professional camera and you can see it has many settings so I can change the lightness and the darkness I can also zoom in to my face like this oh Mr Duncan you are getting very close you are getting very near to us we are not used to being so close to you and of course I can zoom out as well like that zoom out so that is now zooming out you zoom in you zoom out hello to new win hello new win <laughs> i think new win wants to talk about one particular subject I think we know what that subject is, don't we? We do. We really do know what that subject is. I think a bird just flew past me. Did you see the bird then? It flew right past my back. Hello to Noemi. Noemi watching in Buenos Aires in Argentina. I must say I know and I've noticed that there are many people watching in Argentina. I know around the world there are many countries where there are lots of people watching, including Brazil as well. I know I have a lot of viewers watching in Brazil and also Vietnam. Many people watching in Vietnam and also Argentina. 
and across Europe as well we have another word connected to smell there are lots of interesting smells in the air today I can smell flowers I can also smell the grass as well the grass is growing and some of my neighbors have been cutting their grass so the air is full of pollen grass and also the smell of mr. Steve's cooking <laughs> very nice cologne this is also an interesting word cologne when we talk about cologne we talk about a type of perfume that a man will put on so men will wear cologne women will wear perfume so a woman will wear perfume and a man will wear cologne cologne a woman will wear perfume very nice very nice indeed hello to guido hello guido ramirez who is watching in ecuador a big hello to you as well nice to see you here today what is your favorite perfume mr duncan i remember many years ago i had i think it was a birthday present or maybe a christmas present mr steve bought me some very nice aftershave called paco rabanne have you ever smelt it it's very nice very sweet very delicious smell so many years ago mr steve bought me something called paco rabanne and it's got a very spicy very strong scent it's also very nice francesca oh francesca you have very very sophisticated taste francesca says my favorite perfume is dior very nice christian dior lots of great fashion and also very expensive perfume <laughs> i'm very distracted at the moment because there is a blackbird standing right next to me hello mr blackbird how are you are you okay i wish i could show you this <laughs> there is a blackbird right next to me hello <laughs> this morning steve was digging in the garden he was digging just over there and now lots of the birds are coming down and they are looking for worms and insects and there is a blackbird at the moment and he is looking oh and there is a female blackbird as well so now there are two blackbirds if i move they might fly away i will try to show you the blackbirds it might not work but i will try to show you <laughs> not sure if you can see them mr blackbird unfortunately the blackbird is very dark and he's in the shadows Mr. Blackbird, where are you? He's gone. <laughs> that was a very strange moment of time, I must say. Was it worth it? I don't know, really. <sighs> Flower says, I used to like Dior so much, but now I prefer Mon Paris oh very nice i don't know that one i'm not a big expert on perfumes to be honest mr duncan do you know something about pakistan well we often talk about different countries around the world here also if you are watching in a certain place and maybe you want to tell us something about your country 
you can you see so one of the reasons why I like doing this is because it gives us a chance to share our experiences but also we can talk about the place in which we live so I know there are people around the world you are all watching in different places however we are all here together so I always think that the, this is a very good a very good opportunity a very good chance for us to share our ideas opinions thoughts cultures so that's another reason why I enjoy doing this very much I really do I will be going in 10 minutes I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson we've been talking about English we've been talking about wine <laughs> we've been talking about food especially Mr Steve's delicious chicken soup which I had just before coming on oh here is another word this is another word connected to smell can you see the word the word is whiff whiff this is a negative word so maybe a bad smell maybe something that smells bad or, or ugh, something very smelly so if you have a whiff it is a bad smell something is very smelly you might smell some cheese and the cheese has a very strong smell a very strong aroma you might say that that cheese has a very strong whiff also the word whiff can also mean to have a very short or quick smell <laughs> see <laughs> you smell something very briefly or quickly so my, maybe you have a whiff <laughs> or there is a whiff in the air the word whiff it's a great expression and a great word it expresses a bad smell or maybe something that smells not too good something that smells bad we can say that it is a whiff oh there is a terrible whiff in here I think it might be mr. Steve I think so mr. Duncan sorry I'm late I hope you are okay thank you Unicarina I'm okay not too bad I'm in the garden we have two more days of good weather and then unfortunately the rain is going to come so on Saturday and Sunday the weather is going to turn quite bad unfortunately so we are going to have a lot of rain over the weekend here's another word that we can use to express a bad smell so if you can smell something that is unpleasant ugh, what is that horrible smell we can say pong a terrible pong pong is another way of saying bad smell a bad smell oh there is a terrible pong in here what an awful pong another word for bad smell stink a bad smell a terrible smell can be described as a stink something smells bad there is a stink something smells bad cheese can smell bad however I still enjoy eating it yes you are right <laughs> sometimes cheese can smell very bad so when you smell something it, it doesn't smell very good however when you taste it 
it actually tastes quite nice I remember in Malaysia there is a certain type of fruit called a durian a durian so a durian is a type of fruit it has lots of spikes on the outside it looks like something that is not easy to hold it looks like something that might be very painful to touch because it has lots of spikes all over it however it also has a terrible smell as well so when you smell the fruit it actually has a terrible smell a, a horrible odor however inside the soft flesh is actually quite nice it tastes quite nice so even though the fruit smells bad and it does it has a terrible smell inside you have this beautiful soft white flesh and it tastes delicious so I do remember durians from my time in Malaysia and I know around Southeast Asia there are many places where you can buy durians from hello to Alisa the durian is tasty it is it tastes quite nice even though the fruit itself has a bit of a horrible smell a bit of a pong <laughs> hello also to Noemi again lots of people are talking on the live chat today thank you very much Mizuki says I am so sad today because everyone thinks I'm Vietnamese actually but everyone doesn't understand what I mean and on the other hand talk badly about me do they really well it's okay Mizuki I, I make no judgment about where you are wherever you are in the world you are very welcome to join us here so don't worry about it please everyone is welcome wherever you are in the world Nari Nariman hello Nariman says I tried the durian when I was in Thailand yes you can buy them there as well you can get durians in Thailand Mr Duncan I am suffering because of my headache because I've been using my phone too much my vision has become blurry it gets harder and harder to remember all of the existing information says partridge what have you been doing partridge maybe you've been using your mobile phone too much I know sometimes when I'm sitting in front of my computer sometimes I spend a lot of hours typing and video editing so sometimes I have to spend a lot of time in front of my computer monitor and quite often my eyes will start to hurt they will start to ache they will become very sore and after a while I find it very hard to focus on anything so sometimes spending too much time near your phone or looking at your computer screen or maybe you are using your cell phone too much sometimes it can't well it, it isn't good for you let's put it that way it isn't good for you here in Colombia there is a fruit that smells bad and tastes good the canadonga canadonga I hope I pronounce that right I love the name by the way canadonga thank you Francisco for that Tatiana is here hello Tatiana nice to see you here you are late but at least you are here that's the important thing nice hat Mr Duncan yes I'm wearing my turkey hat today this is the hat that I brought in Turkey because the sun is behind me you see so the sun is coming down on the back of my neck so I'm wearing this hat and it will protect the back of my neck so I don't get sunburnt so that's the reason why I'm doing that Giovanni says bacala or stockfish is very stinky 
but it has a delicious taste. One of the things I can't stand, there is one particular smell that I don't like, and that is seafood or clams, anything like that. I'm not a big fan of the smell of fish. It makes me feel a little sick, to be honest. Hello to Sedar. Hello also to Fidar as well. Oh, hello to Sedar. Sedar says you might have dry eye disease. Well, this is something that happens to me when I'm staring at my computer screen. I don't do it as much now because now I've got very good. So if I'm doing something in front of the computer for a very long time, I will always try to take a break for around 20 minutes. So I will do some work in front of my computer. I will do it for maybe half an hour or 45 minutes. And then I will take 20 minutes away from the computer. So my eyes do not start to become strained or sore or uncomfortable. Sean says the fence behind you looks classic. Yes, I suppose so. When you think of farms and when you think of farmland, this this here, the fence here behind me is classic fencing. So this is the sort of fence that you might think about when we are talking about farms. So this type of fencing is often seen around farmland or fields where animals are kept. So yes, you are right. That is a very good observation. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. I will see you tomorrow, says Yassir. Thank you, Yassir. I will also be here tomorrow. If you are here, I will be here as well. And tomorrow it's Thursday. We have almost made it to the end of another week. See you later, Haile Kwang. Also, Naruto. Can I send my best wishes once again to Evangelina? I know it must be a hard time at the moment. I hope everything will be all right. Please keep in touch with us and tell us what is happening. And we all wish you well. I think we will need... I think we will all need glasses because of our technology addiction. I think so. I mean, I've been using technology all the time since, well, for the past month. I've been doing my regular live streams every day. So you might say that I have become a permanent technology user. I am always in front of the lights, in front of the camera. Or maybe I'm sitting in front of my computer. I'm always doing something connected with technology. So you might be right. Have you ever tried gorgonzola cheese? Yes, I have. It's very nice. Very, very strong. So certain types of cheese can be very strong. They have a very strong flavour. Thank you for your lesson. It is very interesting. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hello to S C K T R. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but hello anyway, watching in Japan. A big hello to Japan. Nice to see you here as well. I do have a lot of viewers watching in Japan and also around the world as well. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I have waved to you and your heron behind you. Thank you for your lesson and always useful and funny like you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Anna Pika. I will wave to you and also I will wave to my heron as well. Unfortunately, the blackbird has gone. So there was a blackbird there a few minutes ago and it was feeding from the ground, feeling very happy. Thank you very much to daughter. Hello, Dorota. 
I like your live streams and you develop my vocabulary and you can talk about many interesting topics thank you very much it's very kind of you as I always say listening is a very good way of improving your understanding of English it is very useful thank you very much Palmyra thank you also Beatrice I will be going in a moment don't forget to give me a big like give me a thumb to show you care and if you want you can also share this video <laughs> thumbs up please give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's live stream if you want to see me again tomorrow give me a big thumbs up so you can like this video right under it is right under here so all of the things that you want to do with my video if you want to like my video if you want to look at my Facebook page address everything is under this video underneath thank you very much to than than or should that be tan tan thank you very much to Tatiana don't go Mr Duncan well I have to go in a moment you see because I've been here for two hours already I've been talking to you here on YouTube for over two hours it's a very long time Mr Duncan you are two hours on your live stream thank you Vitas yes I was a very long time hello if Mohammed thank you Mr Duncan that was an amazing lesson thank you very much I hope you've enjoyed it I like coming out here I like sharing my interest of the English language with you and I hope you enjoy this as well especially during these very strange times however always remember you are not alone so you don't have to worry you are not alone during this strange period of time I will be here with you tomorrow as well from 2 p.m. UK time so I'm back with you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time and then we can do this all over again would you like that I hope so So this is the book I'm reading at the moment I will show it to you again in case you missed it so that is the book I am currently reading by Oliver James it is called affluenza <laughs> and that is the name of the book and that's what I'm reading at the moment see you tomorrow take care I hope you've enjoyed this live chat and live stream thank you very much to Su Jin thank you Zudzika thank you very much to Nesta Lewis thank you also to Beatriz wow a lot of people want to say goodbye I think it would take me another hour to say goodbye to everyone but I will try my best thank you Vitas Peter Tias Asar do you have class tomorrow yes I will be back with you tomorrow I am here again from 2 p.m. UK time right here on YouTube 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow it's easy to remember 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow see you later thank you Sedar thank you very much to everyone thank you for your company today oh my goodness so many people are here saying goodbye thank you Mercedes thank you also to Ramzanora thank you very much don't forget Mr Duncan to wash your hands thank you Naruto I always remember to wash my hands I wash my hands every morning I wash my hands before I eat I wash my hands after I eat and also I wash my hands after you know what you know what I'm on about yes <laughs>
definitely, I definitely wash my hands after that particular thing. Yes. See you later. Thank you very much for all of your lovely comments. Tomorrow I will be back with you 2 p.m. UK time. Check the time difference where you are and I will be with you tomorrow once more. This is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching for the past two hours. <laughs> Finally, Mr. Duncan, you have read my comment. Thank you, Ra Ramzanura. I did. I read your comment. I saw it at last, Mr. Duncan. You read my message. Thank you, Feeder. Thank you, Adrian Floorman. Thank you also, Unicarina. Catch you later. I am going now. Or else you will have to watch me sleeping on the grass. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to see that. I'm pretty sure that you would not want to watch that at all. See you later. Catch you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. See you 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow. And of course, until tomorrow <laughs> at 2 p.m. UK time, <laughs> you know what's coming next. Yes, you do. Ta-ta for now.